Scientists, more would never hurt. What could go wrong? The next Dr. Zweistein, Dr. Mabuzi, even Dr. Evil. While all of these were not exactly good for humankind, one thing they did for sure. Create inspirations, fantasies of science. A new flux gizalopo would do as good or a quantum chocolate coffee maker. Science often was trying out dumb things by random, then applying science. If you got a hunch, there was a good surprise waiting somewhere in the grand maybe. And then we thought, why not hire some more scientists in their ships? Just to get a selection in case we need to research something. So we hired just a couple of people. Who would hopefully stay with us for a while. We had to build them some ships and then they would fly out and assist the research we had. Then out of a sudden, something happened. Oh, we met the creepy valid protectors. Holy gardens, another child. No, that we are the valid protectors. The chosen people of this galaxy. Respect our holy places and we may refrain from annihilating you. Uh, we do not care for your frivolous morality. Um. We have met something that, like the called the Andigoni Enlightened Kingdom. Very interesting. And they are already here. We have made first contact with them. And the question is, how? Why? Why can't we reach them? The Andigoni. Let's have a look at the Senate floor or at the community. Here they are. An enlightened monarchy of hegemonic imperialists. The Andigoni are rapid breeders, charismatic divines and fleeting. They seem to be quite weak compared to others, but uh, their enlightened kingdom is also a protectorate under the Republic of Tyria. Long live the republics, long live democracy. The remains of a vast space station have been found in Horsham. Judging by the amount of what seems to be office space and a vast forum outfitted with dozens of different types of life support systems, our scientists suspect that this is all that remains of an interstellar assembly. The United Agarian Alliance will surely be happy to have that inside their borders. Let's have a closer look at that thing. Oh yeah. Definitely an assembly. So much room, so much space. To celebrate something, yet it was destroyed. Was there a dinner complication? It's still spinning. As if the impact wouldn't let them go. It is time to choose another tradition. We've thought long about that and we thought we should maybe direct our population uh, to prosperity, which will help us instantly with the mining station output being increased and later on having buildings and jobs in them and uh, having better specialists will be what is great for our civilization. So prosperity, there's no better indicator of the success or failure of a star nation than the strength of its economy. Here we go. Economy. We might have been influenced by the Varel Viv conglomerate. That is definitely possible. <laughs> We've made first contact with an unknown entity, the cracked crystalline shard. We want to send an envoy to investigate, but it's not possible. 
there's nothing that we could think of that would help here. <gasps> what does that mean for us? What does that mean for everything? We have no clue. But now, we want to have another city district on proportion to finally be able to get to the point where we can assign some population to research. It's time. War has happened. The United Magar regime has declared war on the United Fenox commonality. Now we shall see which empire is stronger. We have to help our allies instantly. Let's send over, well, everything we have. At least the Galactic Corps. Uh, we will unify these two forces and we will have... Whom indeed there? Mm. Murgat Dolgat. Oh God, we need more. <laughs> we need more alloys. Now we'll send someone over. Don't worry. Everything we have will be sent over. But where would we start? Let us see. United Maga regime is upon us. But who else? Only them. Well, well, well. Um, yeah, move to Derelis. So we can discuss further moves from there. A war on us. Oh look, the Serpentian Imperium. They are also attacking. Where is the Serpentium Imperium? Ah, it's here. It's near the Kenlark lands. I hope they are prepared. They always seem to be prepared, but who knows? The Verulvith conglomerate is kind of ready. Thankfully. Even they don't have the best military, but there is something there, definitely. A war economy is needed. Well, we'll send everything we have. We cannot do more. At the moment, we will expand on our capacity as soon as we can. Let's just hope that the... Oh, 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 you know? Let's just hope that the end code doesn't think they will uh, use this opportunity to attack us because again they have expanded like there was no tomorrow interesting times are coming the maga regime of all of them at the beginning we were getting along for a while then the neighbors of the federation had started throwing pacts away our allies declared the neighbors rivals or the neighbors our allies it didn't matter Everyone knew what was coming. It was time for war again. Were we prepared? It was all very, very wonky. We didn't know much. And there was still the possibility of the end code suddenly backstabbing us at one point in time. We had to make haste. Had to hustle for the cosmic compact, we shouted and started the engines of war. So let's see how this war goes. And uh, don't get irritated here, I just loaded up the game. <laughs> it's not that terrible. It is terrible, but not that terrible. So let's see. We're missing some energy credits in 12 months, so we get to sell something. Am I gonna get rid of this? Yeah, I mean, we got uh, rid of, of the whole thing here through 
reducing the starbase capacity amongst other things. But now we first have to look after sending the ships over. And we did that. We did that. As you can see. They're going to Derelis. We'll be stopping the United Maga regime. But there's more. I think Vagnosha is also up against us. Aren't they? No. They haven't joined the Magars because they are not allied. They're only in a defensive pack. So we're in a position that we could maybe hold them off. And that's great. That's actually great. So let's see what we can do there. Mm. We of course also have to work on bureaucracy. <laughs> Somehow bureaucracy. <laughs> that thing. Yeah, the admin planet. And on, of course, connecting to the trade network. We'll, we have to do that with gateways, otherwise it won't be possible, I think. So let's see what, what's going on. Definitely feeling um, uppity a bit. Our trade deal. Not, not that. Oh, come on. Barrel wave. We need that stuff. Okay, all right. We'll give you exotic gases. And you'll give us energy credits and consumer goods. Uh, maybe a little less. Maybe let's 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 do it like that. Let's make a great offer. Here we go. There's a space amoeba here. There's one of their clusters, and they're pretty strong. But together with a galactic uh, corpse, we should be we should be able to keep that at bay. Now let's see. We want to increase, of course, the power of the of the defense force here. Mm. We'll just give them a little more because we we also have more. We we want to get this to the maximum. So seven seven, and that's okay. That's actually exactly what we need now. Research cloning. Breakthroughs in inner creation and artificial womb technology allows for the mass production of individuals based on a common genetic template. Yeah, it's also good for better medicine. And so we get pop growth speed plus 10%. Now, what is next? What do we want to pick? Dangerous wildlife removal would probably be good now. As well as selective defoliants. And we've got some, some good things going for that. So that's nice. Yay! Here we go. And look. <laughs> We're well off now. We're well off. Gravitic sensors, listening post. Yeah, that's nice. Um, I tend to think we should go for research alternatives. We have mm, not really a bonus there. We have the bonus from Albion. The research bonus and so we'll just take that it's it's a good thing to have that it it also brings the federation forward oh no simon bolin died oh goodness no oh, oh, oh. the poor the poor admiral died oh no i mean we have a lot of admirals still but still it's it's unfortunate it's given us a lot of things while in war and we'll miss him we'll miss him we have made first contact with mysterious aliens in the core's compass system for now we've code named them the nun aliens until we can find out more about them <gasps> what now whom will we will we send there let's see 
which invoice do we have? Ah, uh, here we go. Hefanera. Here, here you go. Look what these are. Something new has happened. Unknown vessels. The coarse compass system appears to be home to an advanced society of unknown origins. Dwelling in a series of space stations across the system, Envoy of Fanera has observed multiple crafts fitting between them, as well as several larger expeditions, leaving the system for unknown purposes. They seem to be broadcasting repetitively, but not particularly content-filled signals in our general direction, a development which has confused our linguists, but may help them to translate their language. Yes, translate now. What is what is in Kors Compass? Is it the new mystic order? It's so mystical. Maga regime, it was definitely too early to bring them some serious regime change. But we would rock their space boat significantly. <laughs> Why did they even declare on the cosmic compact? We couldn't understand, but we would readily take the opportunity to practice <laughs> for our fleets in the locker room. We laughed about them, well, in a grim way, but still, it was clear from the very beginning. And if they didn't reveal their big secret weapon out of a sudden, they would just very unceremoniously bump loose. So we celebrated even before it was clear we would win. <laughs> A new first speaker may be coming. Johnny really rotten leads the fray, but he's very old. We'll see. He would be he would be a good choice. Dark Savant would be a passable choice. Would help us with renovating our spaceports. Robbie BC active. Um Yeah, an expansionist and reformer. Reform was never, never bad, so that's nice. And also Joel Gorn has something for us, being a reformer. So all choices are equally okay. They're all quite old, I think. Seen that right? So it's not a very permanent choice uh, for that matter, but we'll see how it works out. Mm. Let's see what they're doing here. They have a fleet here, and we have to confront this fleet. There's also another fleet coming here. We'll send in the Galactic Corps first. We'll send that in. Mm, to attack the Starbase. Iron does, and we'll have our other fleet to follow them, the Culture Defense Force. They're coming from the back line, but quickly, because they're Kowets. In the end, we will have to have more alloys coming, but we'll see how that works out. Dark Savant has been re-elected as first speaker of the Earth Culture Cooperative. Oh my goodness me, Dark Savant, and he wants alloy metallurgy. Nice. I mean, that's that's certainly something very good. We'll have him charismatic. It's good for the edicts, and we'll have some upgrades. Maybe if we get some alloys, go. We'll see how that goes. He's by far the worst choice, but um, he's not bad. He's not bad. He's he's a good. He will be a good ruler, and he's also experienced. I think. Let's see. Oh, got something coming. Culture defense force. Everyone is attacking here. The station. We got it back. Very good. Very sweet. It was absolutely no problem because it wasn't established yet. Now there's a force here. Where's that force going? We'll see. Where's the force going? It's going to Hagawa. It's going towards us. Ah, it's going away now. And we can't really join it because that is a pretty strong station. So we'll have to wait. Where will it go? It will go to Dressel. 
We'll go to Dressel, we'll go to Dressel, we'll go to Dressel, and once it's there, once it's there, we will join in there. To Dressel, here we come. First contact, the Carabineers. We've managed to decipher the confusing repetitive messages in the non the non-aliens were sending us. It turns out that they were commercial advertisements. It appears that the Core's Compass system is the home system of a group of space-faring traders that call themselves the Caravanserai Caravan Coalition. They apparently make a living by offering the best deals, or what they claim to be the best deals, to whichever civilization they happen to be visiting at the time. Understood. The Racket Industrial Enterprise. Human, we greet you. We're operators of Racket Industrial Enterprise, a member of the Caravanserai Caravan Coalition. Oh, excuse me. I had to scratch myself. It just sometimes itches. We travel the stars. Our eyes catch all that glows. We gather and we trade. We pass through your space in peace, only to buy, to sell. We will offer you good deals, many things. Just now our ships are absent. Ksk! We will speak to you soon. When we come back, should you call us? The Caravanzai Caravan Coalition will answer next time. May next time, maybe. Oh. Nice. <laughs> so they're coming to Dressel. And we are also going to Dressel. To hopefully, and hopefully, 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 we will get some help from our friends here. Come on, can you come in? In Larklands. Can it come in, come in task forces? Uh, they are going to Pagol. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, we'll see how that works out. There's a transport fleet already. And there's a planet. That combines, unfortunately. So, let's see how that works out. What do we have here? Upgrade that. Go, 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 it's time! Now, Galactic Corpse attack! Shoot them down, Iron Does! You can do it! You can do it, and the Corvettes will do their part. Hopefully, oh my goodness. We're losing so much, but they're losing stuff too. So it's kind of okay, at least. Boom, 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 boom. Great. Big, big losses from from all the sides. Big losses. But in the end, we will be victorious, thankfully. So let's see how that goes. Let's see. Yeah, take them out. It's over for you. It's over. Freaking Magarans, whatevers. Who? Congratulations to Admiral Murgat Dolgoth. Leveled up. Very nice. Skill, better ship fire rate. This is what happened. They lost 13 corvettes. We also lost 13. Yeah, we lost 12 corvettes and a destroyer. That was very unfortunate, but at least we defeated them. They had a very good general, as you can see. And Iron does also go into level, which was uh, perfect. Very good, very good. Now, let's see what we can do. Uh, we have to take over the, the station, of course. That's one of the things we want to do. And then we want to get in here. Oh my goodness, the Grand Herald is also attacking. <sighs> now, let's take Dressel back. We've, we've taken Dressel back. And now we need to get back to Hagawa. And then we need to somehow recover at Fox and Glow. They're also coming in here. They're grouping up. Oh no! There's something coming. What is coming there? 3,500. What a fleet that is. Mm. I don't know if it would be good to stop them here. I think we have to go over there first, if if it's possible. Uh, can you? 
No, oh, they're attacking, of course. They are already attacking, so we can only hope this will be okay for us. But we have more fleets still. But they're in a better shape, I think. We'll see. They have a big, big ship here. And that should be to our advantage, actually. Because we have small ships, and small ships in general, many small ships counter big ships. Oh, look, I think they brought their transport ships with them. <laughs> That's great. Oh, God, Admiral Iron Dust has died at the age of 95. No. Oh, well. In a crowning battle. Oh, no, let's take them out. At least that that happened now. Okay, okay, okay. What a force we were. How great that was. Now, we want to assign another leader. Let's see. We have more in Falstead. We'll have you coming in. On the other side, uh, we might need someone with actual... Other skills, maybe. Indana, the trickster. Yeah, we, we really like tricksters, so... Um, Ayen does. Uh, that's probably probably his daughter, right? So get him going, or get her going rather, and back into it. Destroy the cluster here. Yeah, they're close, they're close, but we're coming in now. We're coming in. There's another cluster here. The problem, though, is the big, big station here. 4.2k. We have to recover from that thing. It's absolutely crazy. Steph McQueen leveled up. Nice. There was peace was made. Good, good, good. And the Magarans have a problem, which is great for us. Scientists leveled up. The engineering research. <laughs> and everybody's coming in now <laughs> to take out the fleet. Galactic Corps, destroy them! <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Do it, the Corvettes. Yeah, now it's us against Daisy Oak. Aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. hopefully do it soon let's let's see how that worked out well it worked out better for us which is which is great now she was a good good thing and Murgot de Dolgath is is a good general still admiral I mean admiral so what are our next plans probably attacking that we we should mm. There's Tau City, there's Rixim. We should maybe go close to Rixim. Just in case um, the allies go there. We'll see how that goes. Do they go there? I mean, we should probably... Just... No, they're not coming. Okay, this means we'll, we'll retreat to Voldop Station. Where's Voldop Station? That's here. Okay, all right, that's fine, that's fine. Now what we need is uh, consumer goods. Hmm. It was like playing a game of space chess to get a satisfying win against the mugger and the cronies. A mad game, always changing when looking at the blinking sensor tables like slot machines of fate, trying to get the three lucky pigs for the total win in that useless war. Who would win this war? If we were unlucky, the end code could kind of win this war. So we were striving to end this mess with some extras for us and the Cosmic Compact to boot. No, the legendary Joel Gorn has died and now we have no one to research society. And we, of course we'll miss her too. 
But in the end, she went a little bit uh, obsessed, obsessed with her topics. I mean, that's usually, usually that's a good thing, right? But uh, in her case, it developed some, 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 some weird tendencies. But never the matter, she will be missed for for who she was, and not for what she did, because we value the individual. So let's see, effective bureaucracy. Whom to assign to that? Do we have someone who would be okay? Okay, okay. Johnny Really Rotten would be an, an okay choice. Or Sergio Cortez. Mm. Mr. Cortez, what do we want to join the lab? And then we have this science ship here will need a new leader. A new leader. Particles, military theory. That's particles, right? Yeah, we have no one with military theory. Okay, you're hired. You're hired. Sergeant Joel Gorn, former former military, now researcher. Yeah, we're doing that. Hey, what about that ship here? Monobac. Uh, what are you doing here? What? Seriously? Mm. Every system we have someone. Also on every planet, though. Where would we send you? The outlook needed to be a better future for alien kind. They wouldn't join the Cosmic Compact? No problem, not at all. But then, then they would attack. Why would they attack the culture and their friends? Because they saw that friendly competition would win in the end. It was the friendliness that kept us together. And this unity, this rationality, this behavior the haters among alien kind feared most. Someone doing better than them. Doing it in another alternative peaceful way and doing the best for all involved. They hated what they could not understand. Tolerance. <laughs> 